Hello everyone, once again, welcome uh, into another stream, and for this time, once again, I didn't even turn on the lights, so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Uh, hi guys, hello once again. So, we got the new rounds of the Manufacturer's Cup, and this is the last one, so we got, uh, we got this Dragon Trail Gardens, I really don't know how this is gonna go, but as usual, we got a lot of people in the chat, we got Thrill, John, Affinity joined already, thank you very much for joining becoming a member john is here i mean as well oh you know affinity thank you thank you very much even before the stream started appreciate corridor uh semantic here as well mario uh, so the time slots are yes uh, there's are six uh, six eight and ten and i will most likely do the first two one for the third one i'm not exactly sure if i'm going to do it to be honest i'll see if i got the pace i'll do it but if i just don't see the pace is there yeah you know, uh, i'll see I'll see. We're just gonna put it open the, and uh, we'll decide later. So, yeah, that, that's that's pretty much about it. Random. Uh, there's a lot of you guys. Sal, I guess. Uh, Martin, Marco, and Mark. Mark again. Uh, long time no see. Actually, it's not a long time. It's been well. I think it's been a week, maybe even less. Who knows? But yeah. But hello everyone in the chat as usual. Uh, yeah, he's <laughs> beyond the sausages. We'll see how it's gonna how it's gonna work out here. The fact that there is no rain just as disappointing. Hoping the official season would be more exciting. Uh, someone said that it's going to be rain here, but as far as I see it, we have no rain. So all I see is like it's very cloudy. But no, in 15 laps, I, I don't think definitely there is going to be there is going to be rain any rain or any kind of weather changes so it's uh it's pretty much a, a dry one hi jason hi there as well so yeah um i need 300 i, I think i need 340 plus points to actually improve so that's gonna be that's gonna be quite a challenge i mean we'll see what can i say yeah so i i got you i got you Total Oracle, hi, hi there. Jack, as well. Can't wait to watch me. So, uh, let's begin now. I mean, I did a 30 point yesterday. I did a 30.1. It's a 30.0, but it's a 30.1. I had a good time. I always I always had like a decent time, and then I, I messed it up. Or, it was something in the first, uh, first couple of corners, and it just wasn't clicking out for me. I mean, we'll see. Positive. Yeah, this first one, I kind of get it okay. It's not perfect every single time. But then again, as we go into this section, 
I'm trying to understand it. I'm really trying. But again, it's it's super difficult to get over these curbs and yeah, eventually get get a good exit. So I think Kaj was doing a 26.3 minus 26.9. Avik, thank you for joining me. Appreciate it. We got two new members in a matter of what? <laughs> Five minutes of starting the stream. Thank you. And this one, again, like you don't have to be, or you shouldn't be on the brakes that much. The angle doesn't have to be exactly perfect here, otherwise you just need to cut the curb. And yeah, we'll see. Um, to be honest, for, for a GTR, I don't think this is a perfect track. It's stable over the curbs, so I believe some cars will most, most likely have some problems over the curbs or even get penalties. We'll see. Uh, just to answer that one question I think I had. Uh, limited budget, should I go with the stick or to controller or f buy a G G923? Ooh, huh, that's a that's a tough one. Depends on what kind of limited budget are you on. I, I guess a, you know what, as it, as it was for me, G29 is a solid option, and I had it for about a, what a year and a half, maybe even two. I think it was a year and a half. And then later I just decided to sell it, and I sold it at one day. So I think it's a, it's a good option, because later you can easily sell it, and uh, you can upgrade to something better, if you see there is, you know, there is a reason, uh, there, there is a good reason to upgrade. I mean, there is usually a good reason to, to upgrade, but again, it's, it's totally up to you. But yeah, my first one was a G29, I was really happy with the wheel, because I mean, it's a, it's a budget-friendly wheel, so I guess it's not perfect, it's definitely not perfect, but it's a, well, it's a decent, decent wheel on a budget like that. And even for PlayStation, you're not gonna get anything cheaper than that. Why go back to the V3s? Because the V2s were just for testing. So... Uh, it was more like a test rather than I'm going to stay with the V2s. So yeah, that's that's the reason. Nothing much more. But yeah, let's get this one down to, to a low 30. Potentially even like the 29s. But yeah. It's a good start of the wheel. Yeah, I believe so. I believe so. And, you know, I had some guys. I think it was Kaj was on a... He was on, uh, I think he was a G29, I believe. I believe he was. And he was setting amazing lap times. He was beating me and I was on a, on a GTD Pro. So, it's it's a good wheel. And I don't, I don't think you're going to get disappointed. Maybe, you know, once you see better stuff, you'll be like, yeah, man, I got to get that better stuff. But I think it's a really, really good, decent. And, well, it's a decent wheel. It has its own pros and, and it has its own cons. And I hate the curbs here. Yes, that's the one. And yeah, if you're in a budget, that's a good point, Avik. That's a really good point. Go go to the used market. People actually... Maybe we're going to have a situation where, where someone got that wheel for, I don't know, for Christmas or something like that. And now he's selling it for, you know, 70% of the price. There are usually those situations. I've seen them a lot. So, yeah. This first corner, ah, I'm never gonna get used to it. I gotta get to the inside a little bit more. Curves. Ah, yeah, wind was on a T300, yeah. Look forward to the stream. Ah, thank you, thank you, Gator. Yeah, I mean... I think Igor Fraga even qualified for a live event with a D300 RS or something like that. So yeah, I mean, you can definitely... No, if you got the skill, I think even today, you can qualify for a live event on, on like a cheap, cheap wheel, dirt cheap wheel. But that's... Well, what can I even say? And now I'm, now I'm thinking, if I even get a better wheel than this one, am I going to be any any quicker who knows maybe I am 
Pozdrav, Zlatko. It's more, uh, it's really more about talent rather than anything else. And the time, of course, you spend with it. The only downside, I believe, the biggest downside of the of, of the belt-driven wheels and gear-driven wheels, really depends once again, but uh, it's the noise about the gear-driven ones, and uh, there is always a bit of that inconsistency because you cannot really feel all of that stuff that it's that it's on the road. I mean, you can, but not to a point like a direct drive. And of course, direct drives have have a, quite a price tag just for that reason. So, if you decide for one, I think you will not be disappointed. So, yeah. those curbs it's like it's a nightmare I don't know who thought that these curbs are gonna be a good idea they're kind of okay but you just have to abuse the curbs to eventually get even a decent result here was it crashing me so it is it is kind of difficult yeah, let's try to push this car around. I mean, even if I get like a close to like a 30.0, I'm gonna be def definitely happy. So, yeah, 19 more minutes now. I'm not, I usually start this stream a little bit earlier because I want to get used to the track and used to the conditions. Because it's never the same. I practiced a little bit yesterday and it's simply not the same. So you can practice all you want, but unless you get a certain amount of time before the race, you're just not gonna get that feeling, and I'm like, I need to get that feel of the car again. fuel safe tires I think the front right or is it's the front left and I'm again not sure how much fuel should I save per lap is it just short shifting or should I save more no fuel but I guess you have to save a bit of fuel it's the front right And you see this, you see this, that's the problem with this one. Oh, I was up, I was like two tenths up, and then I caught a curb in the wrong way, and that's it, that's game over. And I'm like, oh, it's okay, I guess. Just tire saving, yeah. I think we got about two minutes, so maybe I can just uh, get out of the lobby. Uh, well, you can see, oh, 86, 86, yeah, that's the one. I can just get out of the lobby, so one minute to go. I just look at the chat then. Hey, uh, no strategy, pretty much. Save the tires. I'm not again sure what the other cars will do because if we go once again, if we go have a look at the leaderboards, I'm like 89 here, which is terrible. But nah. I guess I should have spent a little bit more time doing this. Uh, I know that the BRZ is going to be really quick here. I simply know that. Okay, that's Killian, and on top of that. He will most likely not even have to break. Maybe in a couple of corners, but he's just going to be able to carry the speed. Like a lot. And it's going to be good. This car can be unstable over the curbs, though. So, is he going to have consistency? Once again, I believe he will. But the problem with the MR cars here is that they are incredibly difficult to handle. 
at a specific point. So whenever you have at least like 30 to 40 percent of the wear of the rear tires and you're going over the curbs, that's a problem. And definitely like with the Huracan, Huracan is going to be, wow, I don't think he will have to do a stop, I believe. I don't think he will be able to manage it. Maybe he will, that's Antonio, but still. RCFs, they could be okay. Genesis, once again, yeah, I don't know about the tires. I really don't know about the tires. I think my car is going to be good because it's good on tires. So I really don't know about the other car. 650S has a good shot here. If you can, if you can escape uh, the curbs, once again, the RX Vision, that's going to be a good one here. I believe this car is going to be a winning one. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll probably have a Genesis and the RX at the top. But I mean, again, who knows? Uh, we'll see about it. So Mercedes AMG, I think this one is going to be good. It's very stable over the curbs. V12 Vantage, once again. And yeah, GTR. Viper, okay, that's Valeria. So I'm, I'm not even going to discuss it. But yeah, you see all of the, well, almost the same cars around. We got one nine, uh, 911. So yeah, that's that's pretty much going to be it, I believe. Beetle, well, but yeah, we don't have a lot of other cars. We don't have a lot of other cars. Everyone is in a Genesis. Let's say a GTR and stuff like that. So yeah, okay. Uh, pa, pa, pa. Let's go sign up for the race and um, we'll quickly get going. So yeah, no fuel, as you said, 15 laps. Pop in one open. Well, I hope you're gonna enjoy it. Sad prochita gore. Tochno. Okay, Porsche is dead with 80% of the tires are gone. Okay, yeah. That's a good one. It's, it's kind of a home track, yeah. So this is going to be an FR car race. Uh, after 15 laps on those tires. I don't know. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it. Like the MR cars in the last corner, or even the first one. If you're not able to stabilize the car, it, it's not going to be good. Oh! Thank you. I'll try to do my best, although I'd like the qualifying. Could have probably spent a bit more time in the qualifying. I just like this one. Go over. Go over. Go over. Release. Yeah. And what I'm again afraid of are the penalties. So who knows what the penalties are going to be about. Thank you for the sub. An evening flash. Maybe five on the rear. So yeah, not too wide, not too narrow, like something in between is perfect. But again, you have to carry the speed, the angle has to be right. You have to brake specifically at that point, so it's... seconds off the pace, well, that's a bit too much, to be honest. Oh yeah, I gotta focus on this one. I guess it's most likely due to the pedals rather than, rather than the wheel. Yeah. 
good point, yeah. Makid, hi! I finally carried the speed. This one, I I don't like this corner because you have to hit the inside of the curb, otherwise it's just not gonna be good. Okay. I'll gonna be personal best but I think it's gonna be fine I need mean low 30 and yeah the whole point the whole point of this section is not staying too long on the brakes. So if you steer and uh, or if you turn in and you brake at the same time, the car isn't going to be able uh, to rotate through the corner. So you just have to get onto the brakes, stay about like half a second to about a second and just let go. And that's it. There's too much turning going on here. That's the turning that I'm talking about. 777. Six minutes to go. Stay. work I'm 
Not the greatest. Let's try plus five. minutes. Oh, fo, fo, Mateus. Not sure. Not sure this is a difficult one. I don't have that much pace here. I think it's going to be more about staying on the track and not making a mistake or picking up a penalty, so... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's give it a shot once more. Well, actually, I got two more laps. Well, a good point is that the car is stable here, so I don't have to worry, worry too much about stability of the car, although I will have to be careful, very, very careful here over the curbs. But yeah, Matia, Podrov. Wider. I'll see if I can do it. Um, I was never really strong at this combo. I, I don't know. It's, it's just about the, I cannot really carry the speed around as the other guys can. Maybe because I never really liked this combo that much. It's like it's very random in many ways. Sometimes it works. Sometimes braking doesn't work as you're planning to work. It's just like. I don't know, especially like this section now. I'm getting the speed, but just to get over the curbs and get the right lines and not picking up a penalty. And of course, not spinning out, that's almost a miracle. Oh, good. I just need a decent qualifying time. I think my best shot was at Mount Panorama, but then I kind of blew it. Like, first slot, that was my slot, but then again I made, like, a penalty, and that was, that was it. Can we slide in? Ah. That's my home here. I like Seaside a lot better. Although I know, I know a lot of people don't like it because it has the infamous dead chicane. I'm kind of okay with it. Oh gee, holiday. Hello there. Thank you very much. Uh, let's try to see what I can do now. I'm just gonna push it. Oh 
much time did I get? Ooh, a lot. But it's still like a point eight. So yeah. And that's my problem. My problem is uh well jumping over the curbs. And I'm constantly I'm constantly two tenths behind. And as you can see this lobby, once again, isn't gonna be that easy. So yeah, I'll have to Wow, four hundred and forty four points. That's that's tough. That's tough. That's a tough one. I think that's a tough one. Even like P6, I will take P6 here. Max points are 332. That's probably the the third split. So I think it drops to about... Maybe even... Four. Who knows? I mean, who knows? There's a lot of splits these days. So, yeah, I don't know. As you said, as long as I'm having fun... It's okay. And time flies when you're having fun. Thank you, Random. Thank you for the support, man. Ah, let's get it. Average lobby. Yeah, it's kind of... 100 likes already, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you, Brian. And John again here. Hi. Sheen as well. Thank you, guys. I'll, I'll have to focus. Why am I not starting? I don't want to be the last one here. So yeah, let's avoid the penalties. Let's work it out and uh, hopefully I can get something out of it. Try plus four. Draw, draw. Come on, you can go. I don't want to have him behind. I want to have like a very clean track in front of me. I guess all of the other guys will be will be waiting. Not that much, but I still believe they are waiting. No, no, no slips in the quality. Yeah, yeah, come on. They're doing 30s. 30.0s. Wow. I think I barely have a time to do like a 30.5 or 30.6.
Yeah. Not, not in the zone. You're gonna overtake me, uh, dropping down to be 14. I think this is one of my worst qualifying sessions that I had, like, in a while. Well, at least I didn't spin, but as you can see, there are no... No GTRs. Well, I'm just waiting for the ghost, but I think he spun already. Maybe he didn't, maybe he's on a flying lap. So potentially I can drop even to P15. But as far as I can see... Uh, okay, we'll wait. <sighs> the RX Vision. Well, I'm just hoping that the car is going to have more stability. I still have chosen that's a difficult question I think maybe maybe I would probably I would probably stay with Mazda because my previous yeah he's slower than me I don't know how but I guess the GTR isn't working here so I believe that I maybe would have chosen the Mazda instead of the GTR since I have driven the Mazda in the previous season Well, I hope they will fall out, otherwise... I don't see this as going any... any good here. I mean... I mean, yeah, that's it. So... Ah, no worries, I mean... No worries. Ah, see, again, no worries. <laughs> I typed it wrong. Either way, yeah. Uh, you hit the crack, crack on the ground, do you feel it in the wheel? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You definitely feel it. Trust me. Uh, we don't have much of a strategy. So it's basically just... Go. Don't stop. Just go. So I think Mehdi will have to save tires. Killian is going to be good on tires, but later it's going to be tricky to drive that car. I think Nono has a really good shot of winning this. He has a really good shot. Not only that he's quick here, but he's got the AMG. And AMG seems, seems like a really good car. And yeah, if, you have, uh, if you're running GT, GT2 and GT3s, which are essentially, I think, non-A lobbies. Non-A and A-plus lobbies. So, yeah. No rain. Thank you, Mandeep. But I guess, yeah, I'll have to... I'll have to figure it out on the go. That's a challenge. I'll try to do it. 
really am G tires. Well, the GTR seems to be a good car on tires. I mean, I can probably do like 14 laps, and only like the 15th lap is 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 a problematic one. Space Cowboy, thank you. You really think that his tires are gonna fall off? I don't know. I know the RCF is gonna be quite tricky to drive later. Genesis as well on the rear. M6 is quite stable. Jack has a stable and a good car that's good on tires. Brad, more or less okay. Mazdas are gonna be good here later. I can tell you that, Mazdas. And even this Vantage, I think it can be a good one. Except for maybe this Ferrari, it's like... I guess a lot of guys are not even doing this because the tires cannot even do anything. They would just waste points. And as you probably can tell, there are now... There are not that many MR cars here. And even with that said, I failed to qualify. Itch, oh itch. No, 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 Subaru isn't stable definitely, but you have to you have to remember who is driving it. So yeah, I think he's gonna go do a good job, so... I mean, we'll see, we'll see. If someone stops, I know they are in a different strategy, so... Maybe, maybe it works. But yeah, let's give it a go. Oh, the waiter, I think. Nah, as you can see. We have to save the tires. Uh, already someone's spinning out. Is he gonna go? Is he gonna go? I know if he's quicker, I'm just gonna let him pass. I know he has a bit more pace than me, so why why waste time? I'll see later, actually. What happens, happens. But I think he's got a bit more pace than me. See that Jonas is sliding all around the place. See? Oof. Oh. Ah, what's going on with my connection? I don't want to fight too much because I'm going to lose a lot of time and destroy my tires in the process. Come on. Uh, I, I, I already hate this race. Because I just cannot see anything in front of me, and then it's difficult to to understand what's what's in front and what's the situation. are gonna strike later. But okay, I mean...
Let's go. Again. I can conclude that the first three laps were terrible. I mean, whenever I'm behind someone, I have s such a difficult time finding the right line. We gotta save that front right. Yeah, he's incredibly slow here. And then as he gets onto the straight, he seems to be the quickest guy out there. So uh, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be definitely difficult to overtake. Unbeatable acceleration. Genesis. And we got Hemi damage, right? And why did he break like that in front of me? I have no idea. The damage won't go away.
I mean, either way, I'll finish the race, but... Susie. Bye, yeah. I don't think there is going to be a lot of luck for me today here. Maybe. But yeah, I got damage. I'm not exactly sure how is he losing the back end that easily there. Even with a much better line, look at this. And, and fight fight hard yeah Killian is already 15 seconds ahead Why is he in the middle of the road there? Just look at the acceleration of that car.
I'll try to finish the race here, no matter what. Because I know, like a lot of these guys up in front will have problems later. Oh, I'm assuming that they will. Yeah, I mean, he's going into the pits. I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Well, we'll see later. I'm assuming that everyone's pace will start to drop now. But maybe no. With all of this damage, I mean, it's not much of a damage, but it's, it's making the race. It's pretty much you can see right now. Not very competitive. Six seconds now. How much was the gap before? I don't think their performance has really dropped them. Maybe in the last couple of corners or laps, but we are already in the last couple of laps.
good one. Not too much that I can do. Slaps. Well, now I think the tires are not really that much of an issue. They are an issue, but... I gotta get better here. I mean, this is... Damage is definitely not helping, but I think the pace should be at least half a second per lap quicker. At least. Let's finish this one. I'll, do, I'll probably do one daily and then get into another one. What is happening with them? Yeah. But I don't think the GTR is really meant to do this combo, right? Maybe, but. I don't see a lot of GTRs getting a good result here. I mean, we are the only two GTRs. Me and the guy in front. And we are both having problems. So... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's good. Yeah, 15 out of 15. Focus it. Oh, he saved it. Saved it. But oh, that's it. Jesus, like it's. Like it seems like the BRZ is a pretty decent car here. I mean, Killian won, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. He did. But as far as I can see, this is like... Where did I even finish? I think B13. You know what? Ah, no worries, Lewis. It wasn't my race. You know, at least I have the replay. I mean, I will most likely, most likely be better prepared, but the problem is that the, I don't know what's going on with the GTR here. 
You saw what happens when you go over the curbs there. The the other cars just seem to like fly off into the distance, but mine like stays there and that's that's it. It's good in the middle section though. But I honestly thought it was gonna be better. Okay, my first couple of laps were terrible, and even here I made them. Well, I didn't even want to defend here. I thought he had much more space than me, but apparently it wasn't that much. And then, look at this, yeah, yeah, this is the... I think this is the perfect explanation of what happens. I did break on time. I was kind of pushed a little bit wide, but look at my angle. My angle was fine. His angle was terrible. Okay, I got sideways slightly. But just look at the acceleration of this car. I mean, he lost it there, but just look at it. I'm in the slipstream, by the way. And he's overtaken. Like, I'm not even there. Okay, cornering is better. And then again, we get here. It's like really slow. I don't know what seems to be the problem. I guess it's just the car doesn't rotate as much. But either way, this one, for example. He's got a terrible angle, angle over the curb. He's going to jump over the curb. But look at my car. He's flying into the distance. And I even got a penalty there. I, I mean, I know the acceleration of this Genesis is incredible. But I never really thought it was gonna be like that. I had a much better angle here and nothing. And even a half a second penalty, which definitely didn't help. Oh uh, yeah, maybe we can watch Killian here. Just to see what he did. Killian would. Killian did. I mean, Genesis is the new Supra. Look at how early he accelerates there. Look at how early is this. I mean, I know, I know, that's the BRZ. Flies through the corners. Flies, absolutely flies. How to save tires with the Porsche? Choose another manufacturer. That's it. I guess that's the only one. Again, rotation, loads of it there. Ooh. Oh, no, no, using TCS. Okay. Uh, I don't know how he kept it on the track here. By the way, at one point I thought my cable disconnected. Yeah, I had no sound on the left ear. Uh, even with that. Good evening, Jeff. I really hope you're having a good time there. Yeah, I think Mazda would be a much better option. You know what? For the next season, I will go with uh, I will go with Mazda again. It seems like a really good car, and uh, I think it's gonna be a good a good one and a good one to practice for the official season. So I guess I'm going with Mazda. I was thinking about Genesis, but everyone will be in Genesis. So 
we can we can definitely have a look later. I think it was here. I did break on time. And I never thought he was gonna hit the brakes. Wow. But even though even though with this, like look at the situation. So this is the power of Genesis on acceleration. He just goes wide onto the marbles. Here, when you try to accelerate, it's just gonna spin you out. So you have to be extra careful. I got the right line, I got the curb. Okay, he's got a better angle. But just look at this now. I don't have any chance against him. No chance. It's like... I'm sure that's gotta be a joke, right? Yeah, that, that's gotta be a joke, man. But okay. Let's go lap 15. Wow. His tire wear is terrible. <laughs> Gino destroyed the tires. Oh. Oh. I don't know how is he even managing to stay on the track here. Not to even mention the acceleration. Oh. B by the way, look at his lap times. Brad's tires, wow. He's not even touching the curbs there. But that, yeah, at the same time that cannot do much because... He's maybe in a worse situation. What was his lap time? So yeah, he went from a mid 31s into the 35s. Yeah, he destroyed his tires. Actually, he was actually okay. Brad destroyed the rear left, uh, the rear right, and I was, I was kind of okay. And then it just didn't hit right. But yeah, I mean, the real question now is. Which one should I go with? Should I start practicing with uh, with the GTR? Because we got another race in about one hour. Or should I go into daily race C? Hmm. You know what? I can do this one. I can do this one real quick and then I can decide. Why not? Daily C, right? Yeah, let's, let's do it. Oh, no, it didn't see us. C. 
sixth. That's nice. Save the tires. Yep. Oh, this thing, I forgot how it works. to drive. It's like understeery, oversteery... Uh, yeah. You know what, maybe I can use something else rather than the GTR. Is that an option? Not, not the silhouette, but it, I guess there is an older version, maybe it's a bit more face. I have no idea. It probably doesn't, but I might as well give it a try. Is that a good lap? We'll see. GTR 13. That might be even worse. Okay, I'm 1.5 seconds off. 1.5%, 605th on the world. That's good enough. I mean, it's good for the gold, so why not? Yeah, I was thinking about some other options. I think I got the older version, right? Isn't it the older one? I don't think you can... No, 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 no. No, no, no. I can only... I can only use... Nissans. That's a Ford. Ah, yeah. I got this one, for example. Is it better? Or worse? Hmm. I mean, why not? Give it a shot. I mean, I have really nothing to lose. And then we can do daily... Daily C. 
I guess it's even worse, but... I don't know, what about... what about performance? Doesn't... Yeah. I guess it was something like that, Thiago. Let's change the oil, right. Uh, my best finish. I don't know. What's my best finish, actually? I think it was like a P5, wasn't it? Or a P something. I mean, I am now 5th for Nissan, and I am 20... I'm 24th in the region, so it's, I mean, it's okay, but I mean, yeah. Well, I have, I had a couple of other ones that, that were good for my car. For example, Watkins Glen was good for my car, but I just couldn't, I just couldn't do it. So yeah, even if I place like 5th here, but maybe that is the problem, because the other guys are in the lower lobbies, for example Split 2, and if you win Split 2 you get like 390, maybe even 380 points, who knows, something like that. But if you finish in 5th place or 6th place in, uh, in the top split, you get less points, you get like 360, and the competition is, well, well the competition is much much more difficult uh, actually i'm gonna go i'm gonna go to to my second account and then later we can do the testing but my point is i can go into split two i can win my race and i would i would probably be like top 10 in the world uh in the region sorry so i don't know maybe i, I think they need to slightly re restructure the point system because it's uh it's not rewarding the guys that are in the top split. It's actually re rewarding the guys that are in the second split. So I think points need to be reworked. So the top split only gets the highest points. And then later you got... Um, yeah, you got the other ones. And even with that being said, I think the points need to drop a little bit less. So for example, for the win you're getting 400 and uh, let's say 40 points. And I think the last last guy in that lobby should get at least 350 points. Because the next slot or the next lobby will go 350 to 340. I don't know if that's the best option. But uh, yeah, there are definitely some people that go into split two. And they try to do the best there and actually get a better result. So it's... I don't know if it happened ever that someone from the second split got into the world tour. I don't think it has. But if something like that happens, I think they're going to slightly remodify the system. Or maybe they're just going to keep it as it is. I mean, who knows? I'm, I'm not going to complain too much about it. I gotta, you know, I gotta adapt to it. Okay, let's go into a completely different car. Yeah, I wish that, that the other race had hit settings. And by the way, hello Alex. I could be doing better in this one, but yeah. 11 points. I guess it's like a C or a B lobby. I think like restructuring the whole system would, would definitely be better. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm the best in the country. But there is actually not a lot, not a lot of us competing here, so.
Yeah, maybe I should start building another account just to have it for a second split. I don't know. Okay, let's focus on this. 23-1. I think it has to be like a 22-8 to get a good one. D lobby. But I mean the points get much much higher as you climb up the ladder. Even like B's B rated guys getting much much more points. We love it with 150. That's solid, actually. I start, well, just in about an hour. I already done my race, which didn't really go well. But yeah, we got slots, slots 6, 8, and 10. So we'll see. Slow days banging cars. Okay, I gotta I gotta win this one now. Or at least try. Oh yeah. Got an A plus man. Good evening. Maybe I should have practiced a little bit more. But okay, I mean, come on. I know it's hard when you're trying to get your rating up high. That's what I did first when I reached A+. Plus. I was like, oh man, I don't want to do the race. I don't feel like it. I just don't feel. I just don't feel like I want to do the race. 
I was like, come on, I gotta do it, I gotta do it, I gotta do it. And somehow you force yourself to do it. And then you see, like, it's not so bad. I mean, it's, it's actually okay. And then you do it more and more and more and more. And then later you realize that you eventually got used to the A plus lobbies. And this is where the magic happens. You just need to start somewhere. I guess there could be a solution to that problem, but it is what it is now. We just have to adapt. And the fuel saving starts. second well actually I gotta follow Will I know he's quick he might break away here as you probably can expect
Still don't know if he's short shifting or pushing here. I'm bumping in the middle, I guess. wide line but it seems to be working Lev made a little mistake there. I can push him a bit. Can I break away now? Probably not. Actually gonna break away here. I don't think so. Who knows? Mm. Nah, nah, it's impossible. Seven tenths. Nothing happens. gonna drop in like half a second, six tenths. That's it. Yeah, not that much that I can do. I guess the worst place to be not right now is to be leading, and I'm leading.
and there's no way that you're going to pull away. I think Will did a good job there. Get on that free. Well, actually, accelerating in fuel map 3 is just beautiful. It doesn't slide at all, it's just like nothing. I'm short shifting in for the most of the lap I had fuel map free, so I don't know how you can fuel save more. I guess you can. Well, maybe Will is saving a bit more fuel than me. You're going in. Oh, I gotta do a good lap now. Consta, consta, let's go. This is like TCS. But it's not TCS, I mean, you, but you can use it as TCS, and it works really well. No White Sox, man. this big group now. Bo 
both of us have to pit. Let's get closer. Yeah, no one. I should have been pushing a bit more. I guess it's fine. So, do not change, but we have to refuel slightly. Okay, he needs to refuel a little bit more. 2% more. Spider, hi there. Go, 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 go. Are we leading? Are we leading? Are we leading? We are not leading. Oh. Are we even close to the lead? Before. It's all out now. so early I gotta get him go Will messed it up I mean, I was really early on the brakes, and then it just stopped. I think it will be P4. not good to lead yeah, Consta was never leading Lev was never leading this race yeah DG on DG crime oh. I want to check that one Not my best performance, but still not my worst one. I'm, I'm kind of sorry that I hit Will, but it was like really, really early. I'm going to check that situation. And then I'm going to go back uh, to my previous or my main account. And then we'll do another round. But yeah, kind of unfortunate. break did I break here yeah usually you break in the middle slightly too late yeah yeah I mean usually yeah usually you break here Sorry, Will.
win in the end. Yeah, 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 he win. He win. Yeah, Consta did last the first. Uh, what happened to Arius? I guess something here. Ooh. Spin? Oh, Luke was here. <laughs> I mean, nice to see all of those liveries. I would like to do one more, maybe later one, uh, because later I want to go, well, I need to go, and uh, I need to go to, wait a second, this is a nice shot, okay. this is a nice shot, very nice shot, yeah, I need to go, I wanted to say I need to go into the manufacturer's cup. These guys are doing wonderful shots. Especially that stuff on the snow, it's amazing. Like even this. I don't think Will is streaming. Maybe he is. Ah, uh, fluffed away. <laughs> is he just fluffed away? I mean. Yeah, and, and in this lobby, well, we got a lot of these. I'm just gonna collect a couple of them. So yeah, I think in this lobby, being first is definitely a disadvantage. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Okay, I gotta buy a Ferrari. Login campaign. You can actually go where you go. Oh, not the worst one. And was P8 on lap one? Let me. I mean, yeah, you have to use more of the fuel map, but then again, you have to catch the other guys up in front, so. I mean, if you're using it, if you're using it too much, the other guys will catch you, and uh, eventually you will lose it. You will lose the lead, which is a good thing, I guess. But then you will get into all sorts of fights, which is again not good. So you have to kind of wait. What's the situation? Like, if you want to go for it, if you want to save fuel, what do you want to do? Well, I got a good engine here. It's a Mazda 787B, rotary Mazda. Okay, we got a car here. What car is it going to be? I guess the worst one. I mean, either way, I can buy all of these, but still. I mean, I'm gonna take it, why not? I think you usually get an invitation to get this one, right? La Ferrari. I, yeah, yeah, when you have a gap like that. I mean, I know it's not easy. You sometimes have to force yourself not to, not to just not to push it that much. I'm probably gonna get the safety car. No, of course not. Yeah, these roulette tickets usually were like a lot better. I remember Gran Turismo 3 when I was opening these ones and I was like, oh, I gotta get an F car, get a formula. I gotta get that one. Okay, an engine. But, but I did all of these swaps and now it's like, I don't know, even credits, and I've got loads of credits, so I don't know what to do with all of those credits. 
Jeff, see ya. See ya, man. And yeah, suspension. I don't get these parts. Maybe they should be more expensive to to make some kind of a difference, but they just they just don't make any kind of difference because you can easily buy all of these parts and you have to find a car that suits, for example, I don't know, what was that? Turbo and you simply have to apply it on that car only. If you have that car and if you need that car. So maybe it would be kind of a voucher, I don't know, something else, but I don't think this is really working. It should be something special, it shouldn't be like this. I mean, they're giving out... They're giving out these as, as pretty much nothing, so... Yeah. Khalid, hi there! I mean... I guess it works for something, but... I mean... I don't, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's, to me, it's just... I don't, I don't really see a point in, uh, in getting all of those. Yeah, maybe, maybe I will one day, but it's... A collection. Okay, let's get into another one. Well, I'll try, I'll actually try the GT500. I don't know, maybe they will, but because everyone is maxed out. My friend requests? How many did I got? Wait a second. Is that the one? I usually accept all of them. Okay. No. <laughs> NSX is a terrible car. Like... I don't think it can even be... I mean, it's gonna be okay for the first couple of laps, I guess. But then later, it's, it's just a nightmare to drive. You know what, I'm gonna give it a go with this, uh, with this GT500. And I know it's not going to work, but at least I'm gonna give it a shot. And later, I will just go back to the old one and we'll see. But I guess this one has even worse acceleration, right? Oh, uh, Wim, thank you very much. Although, I don't know what rating would you give a GTR, because I just don't have any luck with that. I would like to see one of your laps in a GTR, just to see where... Where do I stand? Oh no, this is terrible. It just doesn't even turn. Yeah. Who won the V2s? Uh, Benoit. Benoit won them? This terrible. I, uh... Well, I announced it. Like, a few weeks ago. The pedals are on the way. <laughs> Just stick with it, yeah. I think it's a good car in some of the combos, but I really have a tough time finding the raw pace of the car. Like, consistency-wise, it's pretty good. But when it comes to pure pace, I, I cannot find that limit in that car. It's like it's really stiff and, in general, difficult to drive. Half decent. Yeah. 
seems like. I wanted to give it a shot just to see if, if something. I guess I would be better in like 50 laps. Hi, Fuginha. I think you have to buy it. In the legendary car dealership, otherwise you cannot get it in any other way, I think. Uh, I gotta stick with the GTR then. Though, so, so, so. so. The GTR, I mean, Silhouette was nerfed. Seems like a good car, but it's terrible turning. 694 power points. Uh, looks like. What if you. Wait a second. 663. Like, yeah. It doesn't get any worse than that. So, 10 minutes until the entry starts. I will give it a couple more laps. Just to see if I can do something. Then later I will jump into the race. I'm gonna take like 2 minutes of of a break and then, then I'm gonna be back. BB plus four. Yeah, the cars are very old. So therefore, I don't think they in any way then they can be competitive to the cars that we have today. Like, they are probably fast on the straight, but aerodynamics-wise, they are not there. And everything else, pretty much. Like, the, if technology is old, so it's, it's just not competitive. Oh, that was nice. Somehow this is faster.
294. Ouch. Oh, yeah. Mm, I tried. But it's it's not really working for for me because it's so I don't know I seem to be focused too much on the ghost rather than my driving. I do watch the replays. I see what kind of speeds is he, for example, taken in. I know that. Oh, well, not speed cornering and all of that stuff. But it, then it's just about execution and on this track. I... I don't know, I don't seem to be getting it right. Maybe I need to start turning the wheel a little bit sooner. More aggressive in that regard. But yeah, when I'm comparing my lap times, I usually watch the replays a lot, so it's... I don't watch the ghost that much, but I do watch the replays and I, good, I do get the data. See now. Point five now. That's good. This is what I need, but in every single lap. Too wide, I guess. Let's see the time. That's what I'm talking about. Basically, this is the thumbnail of this video. What just happened. Got a good one now. Mm, yeah, I could 
could have got a lot more out of that lap. Will it start to rain now? I think so. Does it start to rain? I don't think it actually does. If I do one or more, two more laps, I think it will. Okay, how much time I got? Okay, 15 minutes. That's good. Okay, one more. If it doesn't rain. If it does rain, I'm gonna stop. Slower. I guess the temp goes down as well. We're closing this one up, signing up for the real race. How will it uh, go? I have no idea. Just want to see where is my where is my rating? Did it drop much? Yes, it actually did drop. Not that significantly, but it did drop. I will go sign up for the race, free practice, and then guys, give me well, just give me about two to three minutes. I'll be back, and uh, well, yeah. That is, that is pretty much about it. So I'll be back in a couple of minutes and uh, we'll do this one. So yeah, until then. Until then. See ya.
I am back. Jason Bourne. Apex. Damn, man. I hope everything is gonna be okay. I am where I am, and I'll try to make the most out of it. Even though if it doesn't go to plan, I'll still go. Oh no, 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 that's too much. Okay, what's the best point? I gotta find it. Yeah, I mean, I guess you cannot get into the manufacturer slot. You might even win it. I don't know. Maybe for the next season they will, but I'm not exactly sure if they will. I guess the other good guys will join now, so we'll see how all of this is gonna look like. Hey, they should increase the lobby size. Um, I don't know how it and why it's working like it is. I think at least top split lobbies should be at least 24 players. And if I'm gonna be in the next movie, hope so. I don't, I'm not exactly sure if you're gonna make it. You know what? I think GT8 is gonna be, or GT Sport 2, or whatever it's going to be. I think it's much closer than we all expect, since they push this kind of half-done game because they wanted to get PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 compatibility. But I think for the next GT, they will only have only one cons console or it's gonna be like a pro version of the same one and it it will just have more things available or at least that's that's just me thinking out loud because for PlayStation 4 we got all of this stuff that is just sitting around no one is really doing because you cannot really do much when you got PlayStation 4 and you have to make it PlayStation 4 compatible as well. Well, okay, that was a nice slide.
I don't think it necessarily has to be if you get into the top split, you should qualify. I think it still should be point-based. But I think the, the gap should be much bigger than it is right now. better, but worse. I definitely need to start accelerating before that corner. I already did my brakes, so it's I'm okay. I'm consistent. Not in a good way. Try one more. By the way, Sheen, see ya.
Okay. Didn't lift. Ah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how Kaj was doing, like a point two here or a point three. The best I've done was a point five. So yeah, look at the cars. Four hundred and thirty-eight. So yeah, I don't know what else to say. Um, I just have to qualify the best I possibly can. And then later, well, nothing will really happen, will it? And th this is interesting. Look at the cars. Look at the cars here. I don't think anyone is really doing this round. Uh, well, not everyone. Look at the cars. FR, FR. I think this is still an FR car, isn't it? The engine is at the front. I think it is, yeah. FR, FR, FR. We got one MR. One MR car. That's it. This this pretty much tells you what you need to know about this race. And that's stay on the track. If you can. And make your tires alive. So this is... They, they at least should have made some kind of strategy here because this is not working. No one is playing this today. I mean, I know some of the guys are, but this is already the second split, and I don't see any MR cars here. Which is not good, but still, I mean... Well, let's give it a go, I mean... What's the worst thing that can happen? I can finish last, of course, that's, that's the thing. Yeah, not the most amazing race. Well, with nine seconds, you're definitely out breaking the car you're probably not taking the right lines i can already tell you without even looking because nine seconds is quite a lot and i mean it can be a simple fix or it can be a fix that it takes a couple of days but either way you're gonna get at least like a couple of seconds off just by implementing the right lines nothing more than that the right lines Races with strategy, that's what we need. Nordschleife. Insane.
can be much worse than it already is. was a half decent lap here. I think I will improve. Okay, I improved. I got one more. Even if it's slightly quicker, it's going to be better. It is. P7! I'm okay with this. I'm actually okay with this. And I got a, uh, I got a Genesis behind, but then I got another GTR, so it's... Well, it's actually much better than I expected. Oh, okay. LIM... Am I the fastest GTR? Huh. Okay. It looks like I'm not that slow. That's okay then. That's okay. We gotta save the tires now. I know the RCF doesn't have the best tires. So we'll see. Yeah. Just, uh, I guess just save the, save the tires. I mean, I know the other guys up there in front will... They will be pushing. So it's gonna be difficult to keep that place. But then again, I got Kimi. Not that Kimi. This one is a good Kimi. But... I don't know. I don't know what will happen. Where is Giorgio? P10. So his tires will most likely... Yeah, most likely just fade away by the end of the race. I mean, if I if I finish in the top five, I'm gonna take these points. And even even if I finish P7, I'm gonna take the points because there is no point of pushing. Either way, the points will drop in the last slot. And you know what? Let's see. I don't want to make any any best conclusions about this one. Avi, thank you. I mean, it's uh, save the tires. It's all about saving the tires. I guess it is. This thing is so close to P5. I mean, let's uh, let's do it. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> I mean, I really hope that I'm not gonna get damage. Yeah, full setup is there. That's the link. Uh, do what you do. Thank you, Brian. Four thousands. Yeah, the lap times are really close here.
Thank you. Thank you, guys. Oh, what happened to Wind here? I guess he didn't get the curbs right. Do it plus four. I gotta keep the tires alive. The rear tires are kind of okay, but the front tires, especially the front right, is a, is a big problem. Now I got this Genesis behind, which is insanely quick. Focus and let's get the most out of it. Thank you. the acceleration. I don't want to kill the front right. Oh, that's a one second penalty. be able to get this place now it's a big one yeah I think so yeah yeah pretty big one pretty big penalty okay just four seconds off the lead that's good Exit out of the zone as always. I'm 
trying not to push too hard. Especially these left and right turns, it's like left and right. Pretty much those are all of the turns there are. <laughs> yeah. I guess left ones, I wanted to say. Left turns, right tire. I guess. have to do it 11 more times. I am pushing, but not that much. Just about enough. Hi, Percy. will slowly start to be in trouble. Not good here, but the rest of the circuit is fine. And I didn't drop that much off the lead. Easy acceleration.
now Giorgio is here, but later I guess these tires are just gonna disappear. didn't help him. Later, his tires will go into the 34s, mine will go into the 32s. So I just have to stay on the track for the next couple of laps. pushing it but also I made a mistake it's not really making it any easier second break later. Front right isn't looking that great.
gotta get that B5, come on. really wide. I don't think I needed that. What's up there? moment where Ferrari just gives up maybe not maybe he still got something in that car I'm still amazed how amazed how is he keeping that on the track not not to even mention racing like that I guess his lap 13, 14 and 15 were much, much slower, so I guess yeah, right about now. I just have to keep my front right alive. wide, tires are dirty. Still there somehow, I mean, <laughs> I'm amazed. now now it's time
front right is in trouble. Okay, we got two laps. I think the last one is going to be a problem. Just keeping it alive. I think it's just gonna be right about there. Maybe I'm gonna lose a bit more performance, but that's it. have just about one more lap in that tire. The last corner. That's it. I'll even have to defend. Oh, Gino is gone. Anticipated something like this. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Kinda. Oh, I have to be careful about the front right now. Ooh! That's Jack! It's P5! P5, guys! P5! You know what? I'm kind of happy with P5. There is no front right. Exactly. I thought I thought it was going to be much much worse in the last in the last lap. Yeah, but Jack lost it literally. I, I have to check the replay. I think it was tires. Curbs, you know, it's either curb or tires. One of those things, it has to be. He definitely didn't spin it out like that. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> I didn't expect this. Thank you, guys. Oh, okay. Thank you. What's up with the points? 365! You know what? I'm gonna take the points. I think the points are pretty decent. Well, I mean, I can go again, but I'm I'm actually risking quite a lot. Because the other guys are still going to be in there, and I know, like, a lot of, trust me, a lot of these guys are quicker than me in the qualifying, and if they can keep the lead, or if, if, if they can qualify better, they will most likely just be out there and, you know, eventually just 
much, much quicker than these. So I think Wind, and if Wind and just a couple of the other guys are in front of me, I have nothing to nothing to even do in this lobby because I'm just going to be stuck in P5. But yeah, I mean, thank you guys. And thank you for the sub, guys. Thank you. We have to see. We have to see the replay. I didn't expect this. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> You're saying take it. Take him points. Why not? I mean, it wasn't... I mean, to be honest, it wasn't raised that I was expecting. But 339 and 365, this is pretty much going to get me... It's pretty much going to get me 365... 365 plus 366, I guess. This is going to get me above key. I got to do the math. I just want to be correct. I'm kind of okay. What was it? 365, I guess? 366. 731. I'm going to be... I'm going to be matching up him. Literally. Matched up. But I guess he's going to get it because he's got more points. Yeah. No, no. You risk the points. It's only... Yeah. It's only... It's only about... Uh, it's only about the less points that you get. But since it's... Well, this is actually... this is actually pretty good. I wasn't expecting this today. I don't know what to say. I mean, happy days, yeah. <laughs> Let's say happy days. I mean, one more place would have been wonderful, but I'm not gonna push it. Like, it's a P5 in the top split. And with this car, I think it's a decent one. I mean, maybe I could have saved the tires a little bit better, but then I was, I was under a lot of pressure back there, so... But thank you guys, like, 300 likes! Appreciate it. Yeah, let's, let's stick with this. Let's stick with this. I will. I tried, I really tried to save up the tires. It kind of worked. I have to check it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll check it out. To be honest, when we started, I had much more confidence here. Because I said it, you know, I'm just gonna push it to see what happens, happens. We gotta check it out. Was that the dive? Ooh, ooh, okay. I think that was the first one. But to be honest, I don't know how he's driving this car. So like P7 to P5, it would have been better if I got on the podium or even P4, but I don't want to push it. I think something happened to win. And yeah, to be in such a competitive lobby, and even Gino, I mean, he finished in P4. I don't know what was that about that save hit that he's done, but that was insane. Jack, I mean, first of all, you know what, first of all, I need to check what happened to Jack. Was it the first mistake? Oh no. I feel sorry for him now. Because this is the Mazda. We will check lap two. We'll check lap two. They had no tires. He had no tires. I had no tires. He had one lap more. But I mean, check, check, check. If I had tires like that, I would have been P4. Or even P3. Ah, man. But... Uh, no one else really had the tires. Yeah, Giorgio lost it there. <laughs> Not cheesy. Welcome. Welcome. Um, I'm not going to get... And thank you for the subs, guys. I mean, thank you for the subs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. I even got better points. Oh. That, that's tough. That's tough, guys. That's tough. I feel sorry for him now. Because I know he's got the pace. 
Uh, he will go again and... Yeah, he will go again. Most certainly he will go again. But yeah, let's go back. Tiago, as you mentioned it. Lap 2. Right? Is he even lifting here? Wait a second. I don't think he's even lifting here. Jack is one of a kind, I can tell you that. Either way around. I mean, he's incredibly quick, incredibly talented. And I think he's like 15, 16 years old, so... He just needs experience. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that was a... That was a... Well, that was a... Uh, I think he just missed his breaking point and decided to take the place. I guess that's what happened. What was about this penalty? Where did he get it? Curb 1 or Curb 2? Curb 1. Curb 1. Curb 1, he got it. He got his tires onto the grass. Stop. Yeah, you cannot do this. You get a penalty. You can see everyone is going wider. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it looked a lot worse. It actually looked like he was uh, he was just about to hit me, and then I just barely avoided him. Which, <laughs> which was the case. And I guess he just tried to yeah he tried to avoid him. No harm done. And then I watched the, yeah I watched my view mirrors and then I saw okay he's going he's going for it. But apparently he was just about there and. Uh, I guess it's okay. Yeah, those carps would definitely destroy a car. Maybe not, you know what? It would the they would destroy the car. But even in GT3, like uh, look at for example uh, look at Imola. After what is it what is the name of the corner after Aqua Minerale? You go uphill and then you got those curbs. So usually GT3 cars fly over those curbs. And in the qualifying, they just say, like, go for it. We don't care about the damage, just go for it. If you damage the floor, we will just replace it. And they're, like, flying over there. So, yeah, you can really damage the car right there, but if, if it's the qualifying, just go and they will repair the car. In endurance race, you would definitely wouldn't be doing that. <laughs> the Leclerc, yeah, that's the Leclerc one. Dub for the Aston, yeah, I don't know how he even saved it. But, I mean, he had more, more pace. I mean, I have to be honest with myself. He had slightly more pace than me. I was just, just about a tenth, tenth and a half per lap. And it was enough. It was enough. And it was just about this section. He always pulled away here. And I think my bad was... And definitely what's not good with the GTR is... Uh, is, is, is... I'm gonna show you this one. So whenever I'm going over the curbs, I have to stabilize it. Variante Alta. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Aqua Minerale, Variante Alta. I guess it's the one, yeah. I'm not exactly sure about the other names of the corners. But here. You see how I lift? Do they lift here? No. Does he lift here? I will have to check it out. Wait a second. We can watch it for every car. No. No. A little bit? No. A little bit. Or a little bit. A little bit. But with the GTR, you have to be extra careful. Because if the car lands in the wrong way, you're just flying. You can do this one. This, this one is okay. You can start accelerating. But my acceleration actually should be on the curb. And staying on the curb. And I, I shouldn't be... Yeah, I shouldn't be lifting that much here. Well, but but then again, the problem is that it's just sliding too much if you hit the curb in the wrong way. And then it's like risking everything. So I guess for the GTR, this curb isn't really the best one. You have to just fly over the curbs. But my my acceleration out of this one was never really that great. And that's the reason why they were able to stay close to me and I just wasn't I just wasn't able to get any closer. 
to the guy in front. So it's um, it's a difficult one. And then in this section, wait a second, not this one, not this one. I was maybe pushing it too much here. I should have been letting go off the brakes. Off the second, yeah, it's not easy. But then again here, I sometimes I lift it. Yeah, you can see that I'm lifting here because the car turns in much better and you don't have to turn the wheel that much. So just if you lift to about 50%, the car will turn in, you will save the front tire. You will definitely send, uh, save the front right. Then again, going off the curb. And I realized that the car turns or it actually rotates better while braking and turning, but in fourth gear. I was always downshifting into third gear, which is good, but you have to do it right about here or just before the cor uh, just before the corner. If you do it before, the car just kind of settles down, which is good. It makes it stable, but it doesn't turn as great. So you have to get the rotation in fourth gear, then downshift into third. And then I guess my, look at his angle here. He's got a much, much different angle than me. And then again, he's He's come somehow managing to get uh, to get the acceleration, so it's not that crucial to hit the hit the curb here. But if you do, you don't have to turn the wheel that much. So I was maybe hitting it in kind of the wrong way, not opening up the corner as much as I should. But it was it was okay, I guess. I mean, it wasn't the worst. I think this is the this is the corner where I definitely I definitely could have improved and definitely could have gotten a little bit better. But again, I mean, what can I say? It's fine, be fine. And yeah, I don't know if you if you noticed, but I said that in the opening of this race, name me an MR car, except for this one. Last lap, four to first, nice one. The tires are dead. Look at this. He's the only, I believe he's the only MR car. Yeah, he's the only MR car. Because there is no point driving an MR car around the circuit. Okay, Killian proved us wrong. But I guess that's Killian, I mean. And it's the BRZ, so it's it's different. It's a light car, it saves tires, it doesn't have to brake that much. All sorts of things. But this guy qualified for the Olympics. He was, I think he was actually number one in the time trial, I think number two, I, think, I don't know who was the first one, him or Killian. So he qualified for the Olympics, I think he finished like fifth, sixth, something like that. And not, not that much luck in the qualifying in the Olympics, so it was, uh, I think it was a pretty bad race for him. But either way, he, the guy who finished first and there were second in the time trial for the Olympics, is managing P7 here in this car. This really proves that the MR cars are not are, are useless. I'm, I'm just gonna say that they're not competitive. They're useless. If you're driving a Porsche, you cannot save the tires. I mean, you can, but the last couple of laps will most likely be... We can go, we have a couple of laps in front. Look at this one. Look at my tires. Look at... Wait a second. Look at his tires. I mean, he is... He is incredibly quick. This guy. He is insane. But then, as we go to the end, look at this rear. Slightly edging Gallo. Yeah, imagine that. He cannot, yeah, he cannot keep the car in line. Uh, well, you see this? I guess this made the RCF really good over the curbs. It's kind of a, it's kind of a... An honest cheat or a legal cheat. I mean, it's good to know. And they should be, you know what, they should be using more of this counter steering assistance. I don't know why I'm not using it that much. I think it's good. And I think he, he should have been using it. But then again, no point of even defending. He cannot, he's just trying to save it. Genesis insane in the chicane. That acceleration is. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Anyone else using the... Uh... No. Anyone else using counter steering assistance? No. I think it was just him. Yeah. 
Yeah, I went over. Look at this one. You see how he is controlling the car with power? He's not even on the brakes. And for the last two laps, he's basically keeping the car on the circuit. That's it. He's using it to survive, but also gaining a bit of an advantage, I would say. Not much, but it does help. In races like these, for example, it does help. I mean, with the GTR it's not that useful because uh, you're just flying over the curbs, I mean. I guess you can use it, but I guess it would make the car even worse. Yeah, the Ferrari, unfortunately, they just have to do something about the tire wear and... Well, I'm gonna stop it right here. How old is this Ferrari? Like 10 years old, 15 years old, I don't know. I don't know when... Uh, this is the 458. I'm not exactly sure when this version was released. But we had it in GT Sport, we have it now. We need a new Ferrari. I think this pretty much solves all of the problems. If you get the new Ferrari in the game... That's it. You just need to get the license. Was it 2016? Wait a second, I gotta check it out. 2013. So it was 11 years ago. Ferrari. It's slowly, you know what? This is slowly becoming an old car. In racing, this is old. Okay, Ferrari also unveiled GT, a GT3 version of, of the Ferrari 458 Italia in 2011. Oh my god. But yeah, I guess it's uh, 296. When was the 296 released? Just let me check. Twenty-three, I guess. Oh, no, it has to be earlier, but doesn't matter. I mean, it, look at this. It's a good car, but unfortunately, it's not competitive. It's, it's definitely not competitive in in GT races. Like, look at this. I, I, I just have to. I just have to watch this. Red Stallion. I mean, I would love that car. I would really love to try it out. So yeah, if you get this far off with the GTR, that's a spin. He's flat out. I mean, okay, okay, I understand. You have to keep that car alive, still. Avik, thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Yeah, we, we need a couple of new cars because if they brought the Valkyrie in, I think it's time to, you know, focus on the GT3 cars. And they should really divide the older versions of these cars and you know make make the BOP for just at least like 15 16 cars that you can use otherwise I mean it's fine I like more I like more cars but the problem is that they are getting really old and I guess the Aston is a good car now kinda it's drivable as you probably can tell Mazda RX Vision is, to me, this Mazda is just, ah, this is a bad one, <laughs> but I wanted to say that the Mazda in this game is an excellent, an excellent example of what collaborations between a manufacturer and Gran Turismo can do. Because this car is a really good looking car, in my opinion, you might disagree, but I like it, I really like the looks of this car. And on top of that, they made it competitive and, you know, you get more variety, you just get more stuff in the game. And it doesn't have to become, you know, this, this car might become a reality, but most likely it won't. But still, you can race it, it can be competitive and eventually it's maybe even better than running, I don't know, an other Mazda car in this game. So who knows, maybe they, they can do something like that for a Ferrari, but I'm, no. But for us, uh, yeah, for the Aston Martin, they might do it. And even for B these BMWs, we need to get the M4 in the game. I mean, this is... Uh, these are getting really old. But they're still competitive, so... 
I guess, I guess adjusting the BOP works, but some of the cars are getting really old. Which is, I guess, fine, but... I don't know. Mixed feelings. Mixed feelings. But what happened to... What, what happened to Wind? Herb. No? Like, instead of... I, I know it's, uh, it's always the goal to... You know, make something new, make those Vision GT cars. I guess that's fine. But why not make GT3 versions of those cars? That would make like an insane example. And it would be just a much more enjoyable experience, because you know these cars are exclusively made for GT, and you can actually drive them and be competitive in the game, and they're new cars. So if you start making those cars, I think it's not gonna be a problem if they can implement like... I don't know, what was that? Alif now, I think it's with, um, with Honda. So that's kind of a good idea. I guess it's fine, but if you already make a collaboration, why not make it and make a GT3 car out of it? I'm just saying. I know, I know, it's, it's, it's a lot more rather than just make a car. I mean, you need to make a model, you need to test it, you need to see what's, what works, what doesn't work. It's basically making a new car. But again, it would be nice. It would be really nice instead of having those electric supercars, electric supercars that are like two and a half tons. You cannot even drive those cars. I mean, what Porsche did was okay. I kind of get the idea, but that car is terrible to drive. It just has no, no soul to it. I mean, Mazda actually does, but yeah. Silverstone, yeah, yeah, yeah. And by the way, yeah, yeah, yeah. When we about that, I mean, I will most likely close the stream very soon. And by the way, thank you for 320 likes and like just for watching today. Yeah. So we gotta go into. I'm again. I'm not sure what this is gonna be about. I'm not that I'm hoping, but I think this is gonna be a snow race because I guess they implemented finally. Who knows? But if we go to event schedule, you can see this this one is empty. This means that we will have a big announcement and it I, let's call it big. I think I know what it's going to be. Uh, I think it's going to be the Honda Alif car, which is not great. On the other hand, we might get something new. I'm not sure about it, but there might be an update there might be an update around. And if it's a new track, it needs to happen next week. Or in the next two weeks. I would love the Genesis. I mean, to be honest, I would love the new Genesis car. But I guess this one is already good, so... Yeah, new racetrack, who knows. So this is... Uh, we do have a lot of question marks. We do have a lot of question marks around here. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I, I would like it. But then again, this, yeah, this Saturday, <laughs> once again, we got the Red Bull X competition 22 laps at Spa. I have no idea how this is going to look like. I haven't even set the lap time in. I'm not going to spend too much time in the qualifying because I think this is all going to come down if if you can stay on the track or you're just out. But again, um, yeah, we'll see. But, I mean, they did. They did reveal those cards. I mean, are they really the cards that are going to drive? I don't know. Not Probably not. I'm not a huge fan of cars like that because they're like... They're a good addition to the game, they're vision cars, I, I understand it. But make them, just make them drivable, make them like fun to drive, instead of just making them a brick that, that moves. Well, to be honest, I'm not gonna complain about it, because it's a, because it's a free, it's free update, it's always free. So whatever I say, it's always gonna be free. Mandatory TC1. It has to be mandatory TC5, if you ask me. But yeah. 
I think it's gonna be an update because when was the last time we we got an update? Like a couple of months ago. It was. It was actually. Well, it was actually a while ago. Yeah. Now when I look into my videos, I think it was it was Lake Louise and it was two months ago. It was two months ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was it was a good update. It was a good update though. But it was it was a while ago. So yeah. I think they should start implementing something new. I mean, okay, let's update bug fix. I mean I'm I'm not gonna Spec two, yeah. Spec two, update one, two, whatever it is. But yeah, I guess with this, I'm gonna end the stream. Taking P5, I I think I can be happy with the result because, uh, to be honest, I wasn't expecting this and I had no pace. I'm being, I'm gonna be honest with myself, but this was actually okay. So, yeah, taking points. I will actually have uh, a little bit more time to just go and relax, watch a movie or something. So, might might edit the video, who knows. But that's pretty much about it, guys. So, once again, um, thank you for joining in. That's all I have to say. And thank you for, uh, yeah, thank you for everything. So, guys, uh, yeah, hope you have a good evening. And... Uh, Watch the curbs if you're driving. Watch the curbs. Lift before the curb. And counter steering assistance does help. So yeah, calling it a night. Guys, once again, thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.